Welcome back trainers. Today we have Alakazam lead, Snorlax safe swap, and Venusaur in the back. Let's get into the battles. We got Alakazam into this Dragon type Pokemon. Don't know what it's called. Don't remember. I apologize. Uh, Alakazam is running his counter community move with Shadow Ball and Flame Fire Blast as the charge moves. Snorlax here has Superpower and Body Slam. We're going to see a mirror match here of the Snorlax versus the Purified Snorlax. And the Venusaur in the back is running Razor Leaf, I think. And uh, Frenzy Plant and Sludge Bomb. So we're just going to Body Slam this Snorlax here. We're going to Shield. Purified is probably going to do a bit more. I don't remember if it still has that 20% buff as a Purified. Here comes the Machamp. Not looking good for me, so I'm going to switch into Alakazam here. I don't know if this was the best idea. I know he's Psychic type. I know that Machamp is fighting and mind over matter. Come back in here with the Snorlax. Hopefully lick it down. They do get to a Heavy Slam, though. It does a whole chunk of damage to my Snorlax. Not looking good for me. Comes back in with the dragon, switches out here, catches the frenzy plant. Snorlax gonna take the frenzy plant, go down. That's fine. I'm gonna go for the sludge here. Shield. And then we get to the sludge bomb. Gonna sludge bomb it down. I believe this KOs and GG's to my opponent. Alright, next here we have our Alakazam into Alolan Golem. This is pretty good for me. Pretty good lead. I believe they switch here after I Fire Blast. Nope, they shield and do their own attack. I'm going to shield as well. I'm not sure how much the Wild Charge would do to me. And we're just going to farm down here. There we go. Get to it before he gets to another move. They come in with their Metagross. Very happy I have Flame Fire Blast here. Fire, a fire move, but I end up going for Shadow Ball. Good thing they shielded it, though. They come in here with their Charmer. They have Sylveon. Gonna try and lick this Sylveon down. Not sure what the best move here was against the Sylveon for my team. Gonna go for the uh, not superpower of the Body Slam. Just gonna Body Slam this down. I know Sylveon's pretty tanky, but... Still hoping I can get the down with the body slams. I do. Uh, the opponent leaves and I believe they wasted a whole bunch of energy on that Sylveon without throwing a move. Okay. Next here. Next we have Escav into my Alakazam. Looking to fire blast it here. Let's see if they swap out. They don't before I get a fire blast off. I believe they take this. Yep, uh, opponent, you know that I know Fire Blast. Uh, now you know. Gonna look to Shadow Ball. I don't get to it though. Oh, I do. I don't think Shadow Ball will do all that much to, my, to the Snorlax though, but they decide to shield. Go into my own Snorlax here. See what I can do with the uh, superpowers of Body Slams. Catch a Body Slam. They decided to superpower that time. I believe that was a superpower. I'm going to superpower myself. They catch the superpower on the Lapras. Still not very good for the opponent getting that superpower on them. Body slam it. Oh no, go for another superpower here. I can tell because I got debuffed. Going to let my Snorlax go down here. I feel like I have better Pokemon that can deal with his Pokemon. Come back in here with, or not come back, but come here with the Venusaur. Look to get a bit of energy here. Venusaur up on screen on the right side right now. Gonna frenzy plant this. Goes down. And that's GG's to my opponent. We're gonna have Alakazam lead into uh, Granbull. I'm not sure how this lead goes for me. Know that I could fire blast. Decide to switch out anyways. I thought Lick would do a lot more than it actually does. Uh, Captain Sparkles upload a video. The opponent has shield, then switch into Diagla. Diagla. Di Diagla. 
I'm going to superpower it down here. It doesn't do so well with superpower as it's uh, steel typing. I don't think the opponent respected a superpower, so they go unshielded. I'm going to shield this up. I think I can get to another move here. Let's see if I do. I do get to a body slam before my socks go down. Not a total waste of the shield. Oh, I said Razor Leaf. I'm seeing now on the screen I no Vine Whip on my Venusaur, not Razor Leaf. Let me know, is Vine Whip better or Razor Leaf better? I thought I'd go from PV Poke, but I might have I might have the fast wrong fast move wrong on him. Come back into Grand Bell here. I know I have Sludge Bomb, so this isn't the bat the worst matchup for me. Not the best matchup either. I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. I don't know if the opponent has a shield here. If they do they decide not shield, they don't. I'm up a shield, so I'm going to shield and go for another Sludge Bomb. Hoping with a little bit of energy on my Venusaur, I can make it. As I did get a little bit of energy earlier. And we do take out their Venusaur, their Shiny Venusaur. Good GG to my opponent. Next, we have Alakazam into Dragon Knight here. Looking to Fire Blast it. I think the Fire Blast would do pretty good against Flying Type. But I decided to switch actually. I know that he's good, but he's not that tanky uh, Dragon Knight here. So hopefully Body Slam could do quite a bit of damage to him. They do get a few Dragon Claws here off though without me shielding. I do believe to, I shield the next one though. They're coming here with a Dragon Claw. I decided to let it go. They do take down my Snorlax. I believe I come back here. Alakazam. No, I come in with my Venusaur. Not sure why I didn't just come in and Fire Blast. I don't know what I was thinking. I will shield up my Venusaur though. I look to get a little bit of farm here. Not too much. I know it's going to make it to another Dragon Claw any minute here. Gotta Sludge Bomb it down. They do shield. I get their last shield. Go into Alakazam now. Gonna shield Alakazam. I usually shield Alexam. He's pretty glassy. He's a glass cannon, that's for sure. I have a move here ready. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. They catch it on their Swamper. It still does a huge amount of damage to their Swamper. Almost half health. Their Swamper does make it to a Hydro Cannon here. I, I don't have any shield, so I have no choice but to let this go. Get a little bit of farm there with Venusaur. Venusaur against this Togekiss. I always get the evolutions of this one mixed up. Sludge Bomb does a whole lot of damage to that Fairy Flyer. Get another one off here. Oh, and we're going to go for Frenzy Plant as I was worried I, I would get CMP tied for the second one. It's enough to take it out. GG's opponent. That's it for the video.